In the wake of increasing climate change hazards experienced globally, every single economy should heighten efforts towards environmental conservation as fast as they can. Uganda is accordingly on course to ensure full implementation of environmental conservation related policies. This time round, action will speak louder. The Minister for Energy and Mineral Development, Ruth Nankabira, reveals that already Cabinet has approved a directive authorizing the National Environmental Authority to evict all those occupying wetlands. There was a big debate in Cabinet and the President directed that all those who are in wetlands this time round, this is the time that God chose that we implement our laws. Because we are not supposed to be in wetlands. We have demarcated places. You are lucky that I've told you. If I have told you anybody else, we are going to evict people. This comes when Uganda is closing in on exploration of her oil deposits amidst calls from environmental activists. Since 2006, we've been working with different organizations to make sure that we exploit, we develop our petroleum, oil and gas, respecting Mother Earth. And that's why out of the 461 crude wells that we have around Tilenga, we are having only 31 well parts. 31 well parts are going to get crude oil from the 426 well parts to reduce on the opening of Mother Earth. Nankabira was officiating the launch of the first ever Green Economy Expo taking place at the Sheraton Hotel Kampala. I was seeing that Luigi crying. You know, we are just watching and we point fingers at government, point fingers at government, this one finger, but these three are pointing at yourself. Okay, so there is a lot that we have to do. Nine development goals, we are looking at uh, clean, um, clean water and sanitation. We are talking about smart cities, the president and the, the parliament and the president. Uh, past 15 new cities. But most of you, my fellow Ugandans, we have not yet understood what city status is. It's very important to, for us to understand what a city, a smart city should be. We're trying to address the issue of sustainability in housing, housing, green buildings. We're trying to, to, trying to address the issue of food security. We were considered the food basket of Africa. But right now, the food crisis that is across the world, across Africa, we have little say because we also are hungry. The State Minister for East African Affairs, James Magode Ikuya, echoed the need for architectures to draw plans that are environmental sensitive. You say we have improved the environment. Environment is addressing of human relation with natural forces. That's the first primary thing. You must be able to know that even though we are part of the natural environment and must live from it. What, we, what nature provides us must be made sustainable. The two-day Green Economy Expo coincided with the 12th annual Homes and Backyard Gardeners show, both aiming at exposing Ugandans to affordable interior as well as landscaping designs. Mr. Dwayne, 